Glory to the Lamb, that is an excerpt from Benny Hinn Crusades, a time of meditation, exalting Jesus, the Lamb of God. As it was announced by John the Baptist, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. God, we praise you today for Jesus who has certainly been our answer. The times when our minds that had recorded activity, but yet our conscience would bring to remembrance the word of God, which is our staple, that we have access to a sacrifice made in our behalf, the Lamb of God, who taketh away, who continues to take away the sin of the world. We're grateful today that we can turn to you in such times of need. Even so is it now, as this nation has been inundated with activity, even from the enemy of the Lamb. We look to you, God, Father, Creator, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who taught us how to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven, Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Has to help us to be mindful that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. None of us can stand before you getless, for we all have done according to our, the ability and the promotion of our flesh, which is an enmity to you. God, help us to be wise. Help us to be caring and help us to be forgiving. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as the word of God goes forth today, I'm asking that the spirit of God will minister according to your mind and your purpose for this time. In Jesus' name. Well, beloved, certainly thank you for tuning in, those of you that are listening. This is a podcast that is produced by this ministry, Apostle Gene Morris Ministries. And I give God the glory that I was assigned years ago to take the gospel to the ends of the earth according to the Spirit of holiness. God, through the Holy Ghost, describing that the spirit of holiness is the lowest voice. That has been some time ago, and I trust that God has recorded the increase of volume from the spirit of holiness which has been transmitted through this ministry, this medium, this 
vessel. Someone may ask, well, exactly what is and who is and how does the spirit of holiness and from where does the spirit of holiness originate? God spoke to his first people, Israel, and let them know, For I am the Lord thy God. Be ye therefore holy, for I am holy. Holy. What does it mean, the word holy? Number one, the word holy means the exalted one above all the character and the happenings of things that will hurt, first of all, the person and then others, such as hate. Murder is born many times out of hate. So you have the fruit, the fruit of sin, one of which is hate, then murder. Those two can be born out of the manipulation of satanic activity as people would manipulate on a chessboard. Many times people are moved into position to be murderers. Life's activities position a person to become a murderer. Life. Activities. Incidents. Happenings. Events. And believe me, many times, because of the weakness and the inability of people to recognize and acknowledge that they are being moved on Satan's chess board, they fall into devastating traps. 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 God knows the traps. That's the reason why Jesus taught. Watch. We have to watch for the traps. Jesus taught the thief comes, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Satan is nobody's friend. I don't care who they are. There are people that have announced that they are followers and comrades of Lucifer. Now, if those people think that Lucifer is their friend, they are very much deceived because he is not. He is not their friend. He's definitely not their friend. So what is to be done? An enemy deserves to be trapped. An enemy deserves to be taken out of that position. Even though Jesus admonished us when it comes to people, we're to love our enemy but there's no room for love for Satan. He is the arch enemy of God. And we definitely don't love the enemy of God. But there are people who have fallen victims to Satan's activity, his traps. Sometimes those victims themselves, I should say those trappers themselves, are victims of Lucifer. There are times when people that are used of Lucifer can be positioned for mercy. God did it. He allowed his mercy to endure in the life 
more than once of someone that had been his enemy. And so must we. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but yet the Bible has let us know, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And at some point in our lives, all of us will need mercy. So Jesus included mercy as a part of his points of blessing. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. It's inevitable. It doesn't make any difference who we are at some point in our lives. On top of this earth, we are going to need mercy. It may not be from whom we would expect, but at some point in our lives, we're going to need mercy because that's just the way life is. The rich and the poor at some time need mercy. Mercy. They need somebody else along with God to be merciful. As I stop today, be mindful that Jesus shed his blood as a volunteer. He volunteered. The scriptures record the statement, Lo, I come, as it is written of me, I delight to do thy will, O God. That was a statement, a volunteer statement. Jesus positioned himself as the Christ. Not forced. Lo, I delight to do thy will, O God. But even in that volunteer time, there was a development in the Garden of Gethsemane. The scripture says, the report says, the account says, the person who was the biographer at that time later recorded so that it could be in the annals of history that Mary's son asked a question. Father, he wasn't talking to Joseph either that had taken him into Egypt to, so that he could escape the raft of a jealous, envious, murderous king. But he asked a question as Jehovah, Elam's son. Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Then he surrendered. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And all of us at some point in our lives, we come to places of decision that we rather not go forward in that which is in front of us. Definitely. We rather not go forward in what is in front of us as events of life. But we note that there is time that's going to be filled with events. Yes, it happens to the greatest. Life 
that's going to be filled with events. In this case, he was going to be wounded for our transgressions. He was going to be bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was going to be upon him. And then he was going to be beaten. And with his stripes from a whip that also pulled the flesh from his body, according to his story. He was going to be beaten. And the scripture says, and with his stripes we are healed. So as the Lamb of God, he suffered for us even before going to the cross and suffering as the sacrifice for sin. Somebody said, well, I don't owe nobody nothing. Yes, we do. We owe God, number one, a thank you that we don't have to live our lives in condemnation. For there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So we don't have to live with a guilty conscience. But we can transition into the joy of the Lord, rejoicing that we have been forgiven. Yes. So let me encourage you. If you have not yet totally surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, let me encourage you to do it today. Amen. And if you have given yourself to the Lord, let us press to go on in spite of what is happening now to discourage us. Because it's going to get worse. It's not going to get any better. So we ask God for help. Yes, we ask God. Lord, help me. <laughs> we ask God, Lord, help us. Yes, now we ask God, Lord, help us. Help us to stand, help us to go through, help us to endure as we grow closer to the time of the takeover that you're permitting Satan to have for the, the length that has been allotted to him. But we thank you now that we have access to your throne for grace. Grace to stand, grace to go through, grace to endure, grace. Thank you for grace today. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate it. Now, God, as we press, thank you for the joy, the joy, the joy that is our strength. Thank you for joy. 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 See, we thank you. Lord, help us to press to abide under your shadow. Yes. Bless us to press to do that. To dwell in the secret place that we may abide under your shadow. Bless your people everywhere, all over the land and country. In Jesus' name. Thank you for the victory here. 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 We give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, beloved, thank you for listening. I invite you to come back to AJMM Radio 24. We endeavor daily to present as the Spirit of God would give a word to strengthen you daily. Be blessed. Stand, and having done all the stand, stand.